Hello. Yeah. There. <clears throat> Hello, okay, so we're starting, guys. And this is the first match of our tournament. It's Feed Sport versus Turbulence Hello. Gaming. Yeah. On the blue team. We've got. On the blue team, we've got Turbulence Gaming. And on the red team, we've got Feed Sport. Feed Sport. <laughs> okay, so we're starting, guys. And this is the first match of our uh, tournament. Cool. It's Feed Sport. Okay, good. Sorry about that. <laughs> So we're into the game right now. Syndra, it's Chuya Moore going on your mid lane. Isol Angels as your jungler. Ragso as Jax on the top lane. Gigi Matchmaker and Cosmic Bird as your AD carry and support on the bot lane. <laughs> so anyway, game number one of today. Finally, after what? How, how many uh, hours of arguing? Almost two and a half hours of <laughs> bracket issues. Indeed. Uh, well, let me just sort this out here. Yeah, let's get into this. So, what are your predictions for game one? For for game one, I. S What's on this side again? Yep. What's on this side? Pit Sports. Uh, uh, Pits. <laughs> Turbulence Gaming is a blue team. Turbulence Gaming is on the blue team. Oh, 
Okay, I say Turbulence Gaming has a better early game because of their burst damage. However, if this comes very late into the game, GG, Fitz Points got Jax and Kazix, which could pretty much do everything for their team. Yeah. Well, we see a, uh, a pretty early red, red buff steal here. Oh, well. there's a pass. This is the beauty of, you know, land tournament. The pauses kick off straight off the bat. Okay, we're back. Two hours to fill. Two hours of failing. We might hopefully be able to go into game here. So the first blood goes to Field Sports. Turbulence Gaming. Yeah, Turbulence Gaming. Indeed. Turbulence Gaming. Alright, so, trying to get in the mood for this. Kassix does gank the top lane and... Well, they got the kill on Rise. Exactly. And of course, 
Where's the flash, <laughs> but Leon is still on Charlie's. <laughs> so it's a two kills for one. Yeah. Sports is one kill ahead. And we're all just sort of getting into the you know the shoutcaster mood because <laughs> so much stress for the past couple of hours. It's just 600 gold lead, so it's pretty much even by this point. Wait, now Kha'Zix is, Kha'Zix is on the top lane again, looking for some gank, but he's been spotted by a ward. And LeBlanc going... still harassing Syndra. We'll see what how this game develops. There's a, a fairly different start on the bottom lane, right? We do see that Annie picks up a uh, stealthy blade mm -hmm. compared to uh, the standard lot. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, item. Thank you, item for Leona. Annie has been caught again, no. There goes the sun from Annie. Now it's their time to chase. <laughs> no. It's still pretty even in all lanes. Well, let's say until the middle. Now the black is coming down the bottom lane. Ah, but she's been spotted by a wide. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, our other caster is going to take a little break. Um, he'll be back in a little bit. Um, I'm here, Petcock, casting with Z. Uh, currently going a good. Which teams are these? This Fit Sports uh, versus Turbulence Gaming. Now the chase is on again at the bottom lane and they got Annie once more. So, Pete Sports playing pretty strong against uh, Turbulence Gaming. I don't think we've ever seen Turbulence um, play in a tournament, at least under their team. I think we know a couple of the members on the team. Yeah, but the whole team itself. Up, but no homo. Uh, nice name. We know Cutie Pie. He's played on uh, uh, Q Club before. Pretty, pretty good player. Been moving around a lot of teams. Um, feet sport. And there goes uh, Leo. Sorry about that, guys. We are not on directed camera. I fixed it. Feet sport is going all aggressive in all lanes. Yeah. Except for the mid lane. Mm -hmm. Syndra has, has been being. Uh, Harass since for all this time. Yeah, but uh, Turbulence Gaming's team is a pretty early game team, so yeah. I feel like if they're not able to get a pretty significant lead early on, I mean, they're already behind. Yeah, and this is looking bad for them because Jax is a late game carry and he's keeping up with Rice. And actually, he's six six scripts ahead of Rice, so yeah. that's pretty bad for them. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. They're jumping onto Annie. Annie taken down by Leona and... Uh, Annie has been picked up thrice. <laughs> oh, Jax may be taken down by Ryze. Nice kill by Ryze. Well played by Cutie Bye. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, like I said, Cutie Pie is a pretty good player. We've seen him play on some other teams before. Uh, been moving around. Um, so it's still a 1k, 1K gold advantage in favor of Fid Sports. Yeah, so nothing too significant. I mean, they can definitely come back from it. Yes. But they should be. They should have a lead right now if they want this team composition to work. I guess Caitlyn is pretty good in the late game and Rise is pretty good in the late game. But LeBlanc and uh, Annie, their strengths are early mid game. Mm -hmm. And. Um, and that's a problem. Annie has been picked up tr twice already. And now, yeah. now on the top lane, there you go. Nice escape by Rise. Will he be able to escape it? No, one leap. He'll die. Just one leap. Uh, one leap. But I think he's out of range. There. Oh, okay. There we go. Jax whipping onto him. Kudibai has died twice while Jax is <laughs> once only. Another pick off and the solar players takes two. Caitlyn's going down while Leon is still on the chase. This is looking very bad for the bot lane of Turbulence Gaming. They are just being completely outplayed this whole time. In terms of levels, Annie is just level 5 while Leona is level 6 and Lucian is level 7. On the other hand, Caitlyn is only level 6. So it's a really dis... Turbulence Gaming is in a really disadvantage point right now. Mm. Their bot lanes are one levels ahead. Ani doesn't have his bear yet, while Leona can just solar flare. They can even dive on the turret right now. Alright, sorry about that. Well, guys. on the mid lane, Kazix is waiting for Syndra. There goes the stun. Kazix goes in the block. No, he just got, got a lead. But where's the counter gun? Right, it's good. Syndra trying to get nice out. Escape. Yeah. It's just one more hit and. There we go. We didn't have the back or the game noises on, so it was just completely silent. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Fifty or sixteen thousand to thirteen. So it's sixty-six to sixty-two on the top lane, but it's still bad for Rice, though. Mm -hmm. I can just see the Rice also as a late game here because he, he she can he can be tanky in the late game. There we go. Uh, okay. oh, the, the stun. Lucian's already on page. Now Rice trying to do something. One more, one more Q. Is it worth a die? Yeah, and there, he does it. If Rice can get really fed and really snowball, or not snowball, but take control of the lane, yes. What the thing is, gaming should do right now is Rice should come on the on bot lane so. She can help Annie and Caitlyn to recover. Mm -hmm. right now, Annie has four deaths and Caitlyn has one. They haven't picked up any kill from the other two, from the opposing side. Yeah. And Lucian now uh, is almost how many golds away? Mm -hmm. Lucian is, is a few golds away from his Bloodthirster. While Caitlyn will still pick up his BF yeah, sword. He picked up the Bloodthirster. Caitlyn has. There you go. A blood twister for a vampiric scepter. Any not going with uh, side stone first. Um, let's look at the gold difference. We have uh, about 1k between the ADCs. Um, 1k between the supports. Oh, is it 2k? Look how confident the fit, the fit sports is. Or all, all of the items are offensive. Mm -hmm. Jax build build the build the Atlas and all offensive here. Oh, Rice is one of those tanky mages, so yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he lives that guy. First dragon of the game, I think. Yes, that's the first dragon of the yeah. game, and it goes for TD uh, for Fid Sports game. TD Sports. <laughs> I was saying TD Sports.
We're currently in key club right now. Uh, why is going to gank Jax? Oh, nice to Sorry, <laughs> trying oh, to they're, they're gonna go. Oh, you gonna get Yeah. He can get one out. Oh, he's gonna left him. Nice finish by V. V has the red buff, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Turbulence Gaming are still in this game. They're still catching up. They're picking up yeah, jobs. They're, they're definitely away now. Now that they've been left alone, bot. If their mid can can uh, avoid getting ganked by bot lane, like which almost happened right now, they can farm up and catch up. So no one's really focusing on them. If they want... oh, go. There goes solid player. And... But even if even if if the mid lane will not be ganked. Syndra is still ahead of LeBlanc right now. It's very, very to go ahead. Nice block oh, by nice. Lucy. Bye bye to Mission 8. Kha'Zix is on the side. He's teleport from Rise over. But the mission nice from Kha'Zix. They will get the first, the second tower of the game. Okay. Oh, they're still chasing. We got two serving. They should be able to get two towers out of this push. They just. Yeah, they can. They pull the gold divide by. They got two win. heroes. And they can. They can get the second turret. A power trade. Two turrets for one. That was a great push. They closed that four K gold difference. Now it's about one and a half K gold. However, the scary thing here is they're letting Jack farm the top lane. Yeah. How did it go? And now he's got the Blade of the Ruin King, so. I think. It's quite will out of up. Why is this having brought a baby? So. He's still doing pretty well. It's not like he is decent. He can tank. I don't think. I don't think Caitlyn should be able to get out of this if she can get another net off. Yeah, Kha'Zix won't chase. They really have no vision right now. The Blank also has, uh, has her dot fire grasp, so he can easily assassinate anyone in the team. Yeah. Now they're trying to push the mid lane. And it's only... There goes the initiation. Room prison from coming from Rise. Wow. Will we be able to? Oh, nice group by V going around the back, but Kha'Zix might be able to catch up to her. I thought the Turbulence Gaming is, will will win that clash. Yeah. We got three heroes, so and Vision is not even there in that clash. Where does the sun from Caitlyn? Caitlyn trying to defend the second turret, but... <laughs> it's a 3k, 3K gold lead still. Still the same from earlier. So, what do you think? needs to happen right now for these teams to, to come out ahead because they're it seems like they're doing pretty well um even though it's a 4k gold difference they seem pretty uh, even in match right now so. okay this turbulence game is still pushing the mid lane while i think that what they should do is push the other lanes in terms of the gold control they are ahead of the ahead of feed sports so it's better to take objectives Rather than push mid lane. Yeah. Yeah, they do already have two towers, so. And also, really... the. It's, Big Sport still has tier one towers on both top and bot lane. Mm -hmm. 
and the pin's going on top. I think they want to push the top lane. Kaga's doing pretty good for himself. Um, they don't have as much CF as B, but uh, keeping up on items. And this is an exact item with B, actually. Oh, he has three assists, so that's fine. I think B could build a little tanky, couldn't she? He has to be tankier because he, he's the main, she's the main initiator of their team. Yeah. So if he doesn't leave the first clash, then no one will protect, protect her ADC. Yeah, she's pretty much all the gear right now. The, the second dragon goes to feed sports again, uncontested. I don't know if they have the timer on that dragon. No, they don't have any visions on the dragon, so they don't. No, they just initiation on the clash. The Jack stand is trying to initiate and wish him, but no reason. Jack takes care of the lights. It's a 4 for 1, it's a 4 for nothing. It's the first race of the game. It's gonna drop. Yeah, from 30 gold lead earlier, the Cerberus gaming is now down to 9k gold lead. So we saw there, the Zora the really quickly in the fight, and it was because she didn't have any defensive items. She engaged the honor at EC, which was the right thing to do, but she, she had no defensive items. Yeah. She was just too low that fight almost. <laughs> Yeah. We was right initiating on Lucian, but the burst damage coming from Syndra mm -hmm. and Jax, it's just too much. Uh, and don't we also have the Kha'Zix, who just jumps in from him. If, if, you, if you die, then you get another jump. So you're, you're pretty much, whenever V goes in, the other team, it becomes a 4v5. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Rihanna almost got in position, out of position, but she can live. They get the blank. So will die. Now they get Annie. Still on the chase. Kha'Zix kills. Drax join the fight. And Rice. Rice go down. Vi go down. Only Caitlyn will leave. Jax being an absolute monster. Right? It's almost a team wipe again. It's strange. Why, why is Rice building magic with this guy? A Caitlyn life. And they're going for a Baron. And this is the still not the contestant. Like, yeah, Syndra is scary right now, but I think the main thing that Turbulence could be building is on mm -hmm. You have Kate, uh, you have Lucian, you have uh, Kha'Zix, you have uh, Jack. All the main damage dealers, or all the biggest damage dealers in this game. So if you're building magic resist, I mean, it's kind of pointless. What's the problem? Why build the brutalizer instead of any defensive item? So yeah, I think I think that was the strategy to win. You know what I mean? So they went for the brutalizer because you have the brutalizer, you can deal a lot more damage. You can mm -hmm. make um, a lot more of an impact when you gain. But now that they didn't win the early game, she. <laughs> we have one of the players in this game currently hanging out with us, but we will not spoil the game for you. <laughs> Rise, is a, it, Rise is more tankier than Vi right now, so I think what Vi can do is just initiate, then Vault Breaker out. <laughs> so we will not be caught at the middle of the enemy's team. And like, look, Vi can't really do anything here. Check. Yeah, he's gonna go up to the tower, whatever. And there, there it goes. Look at it. Break her out. One hit. And she's down 30%. We got the, uh, the third, the, the auto turret. She just takes it. See, a tower is like... Oh, yeah, look at that. Shut down. 
Nice ult by Liana. She's gonna engage. Wow. It just melted. <laughs> Lucian, now Caitlyn, Caitlyn's going down as well. It's Lucian, clean up that team. Epic left is almost a thing wide. Oh, oh there's a yeah. Speedsports will go on to play the winner of uh, Unseen Q Club Unseen Dongers versus Clock Clock Mission. Clock Mission. Yes. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll be back in uh, 10 to 15 minutes with the next game. Um, and yeah. How about the Orient teams? The Orient team. Are they playing now?
I feel like I don't know where I'm headed lately Moving through the groove and they think I'm doing it Just for the food for thought Cause music is one of many muses of course But even it combined with all of the force Won't change the strength of that signal pouring from its painful source So fill up my stomach with another empty void Hurry up and numb it, I don't think I had a choice If I did, being a youngin' made it hard to avoid Had to stick my tongue in with a throat full of points That had to be made so my mouth was a bridge That my lungs had paid for my verbal army To cross into your space Every word is a soldier holding the blade The weight of a boulder, each important to say Just look at them marching into their fate Oh so brave Left foot first to be followed by the right Born with a thirst to be bothered by a fight Scorn with a curse to be swallowed by the night Sworn to a sword till it's born to a knife Left foot first to be followed by the right Born with a thirst to be bothered by a fight Scorn with a curse to be swallowed by the night Till there's no one left, just me at my desk Yes, you guessed it, another suggestion Don't digress just cause you missed the message Sit till you digest the intended lesson There's no question of what I meant to mention There's no resting with this level of stress in my heart in my mind, it's a different type of life If you know what it is, and most of those that do Won't throw a second my way to hear what I've got to say I'll speak it anyway for those close to my situation Lost in the day-to-day -day who can't form words when they feel like me Left the singing for the birds and the growth for the tree Giving up, unable to recognize that they can't give enough Live it up just repeat what I say You can be my little soldier Speak it to the grave Look at you marching Oh so brave Left foot first To be followed by the right Born with a thirst To be bothered by a fight Scorn with a curse To be swallowed by the night Sworn to a sword Till it's worn to a knife Left foot first To be followed by the right Born with a thirst To be bothered by a fight Scorn with a curse To be swallowed by the night Till there's no one left Just you at my desk Meet me where the sun stops All you look lost, meet me where the shadow sleeps Watch your feet, dance is the drum of the battle beats Please remember me though, I'll understand if you don't I got a guy on the come up and he thinks I'm the bomb Like I spit a liquid flow of lithium ion Sunlight, energy, but I got it's unlike Anything he's seen before, but I feel close To the end of my rope, closing in on the new Soon it'll move to choke, though most of all I feel like a disappointment Really I'm just stuck wondering where the hell my voice went Didn't have the chance to to stand and choose the choice against joining in this walk Just another lost bark that echoes in the shadows Piss scared, blank face, been a steady pace for days Just look at us march, though I bet we look brave Left foot first to be followed by the right Born with a thirst to be bothered by a fight Scorn with a curse to be swallowed by the night Sworn to a sword till it's born to a knife Left foot first to be followed by the right Born with a thirst to be bothered by a fight Scorn with a curse to be swallowed by the night Till there's no one left, just papers on the desk
Jesus.
Hello. So we're back into the game. It's Korea T1 versus Team Frost. Korea T1 on the red side and Team Frost on the blue side. Well, this is the second game of today. Game one was fairly one-sided, I reckon. So for the picks and bats, Team Frost banned Twitch, Twisted Fate, and Bron. The uh, so OP. I'm, I'm excited to see a brawn in game, man. Like, yeah. Brawn is broken. Brawn was uh, was banned early. While on the Korean T1 banned Yasuo, Renekton, and Listen. Are we going to see a Korean meta here? Korean meta team. These guys are the. These guys are Koreans. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Cool. So. Uh, let's see. Well, we saw, we saw, uh, no, actually, no, we, I was gonna say we saw Faker playing, uh, Syndra, but there's no Syndra in this team today, sadly. It's gonna be Fizz. Nerf my balls. <laughs> it got quite the unique, the unique team name, I mean, uh, summer name. <laughs> so, Team Frost pick Jax, Team Frost pick Jax, Shaivana, Leona, Lucian, and LeBlanc are uh, for the team. While Korean team pick Trash, Caitlyn, Kazix, Fizz, and whoever the last pick will be. If it's not Twisted Fate, I'm gonna be pissed off. Who will it be? It's gonna be a Nasus. <laughs> I expected yes. a TF, you know, because the guy's called Pax TF, so maybe. But they already pick Fizz. No. What no? Ooh. Well, that's a fairly standard, I mean, fan to start, uh, fairly standard, you know, matchup. I but I don't know how Wukong will do against Jax in the top lane. Assuming they don't swap, Shivana, no, it's Shivana in the top lane, if they don't swap. Yeah. So, we'll Probably. Say, Jax and Lucian, of course, we saw Lucian in the last game, dominated as well. Yeah. And it was a Lucian and Leona as well. Yeah, exactly. Very aggressive Lucian and Leona, and it paid off. They dominated the bot lane and snowballed the whole game. Well, yeah, I am noob. Yes, you are a noob, mate. <laughs> it's on the screen. Anyway, if you you know if you guys can't hear us or or anything, just let us know and we'll we'll try and sort it out. I know we got background noise, but. Not that much we can do about it when we're sitting beside the players, you know what I mean? Okay, so this is the beautiful three minutes of nothingness. What do we do for the next three minutes? I guess none. How was <laughs> your week. week? How was your week? <laughs> Mine, same old week work. Um, <laughs> then rest. How about you? Same, man. Exam I'm in exam block, so basically, you know, two <laughs> weeks off, then an exam, then two weeks off again, then an exam. I guess it's pretty relaxed. 
And yeah, so we're in Q Club's Barsha branch. I don't know, this is at least it's my first time being here. This is my you? first time as well. Yeah, and yeah. I had a hard time finding <laughs> this because I walked from Mall of the Emirates to here. Yeah. And for all of you that are not in the UAE, that's about five blocks away <laughs> from where we are right now. So yeah. I, this branch is, I don't know, it, it's a bit more spacious than the other one, I suppose. There's more light coming in from outside, that's for sure. Yeah, but North said it's much bigger. The other one is much bigger, he said. It's just that it's yeah, exactly. close. But I find it too cramped. Everything's too dark. There's yeah. no light. I need outside light. Mm -hmm. So at least where I'm sitting, I can get you know the light from the door <laughs> comes in through. Oh. So once again, this this League of Legends tournament is sponsored by Q Club Al Barsha. Yeah. Price full is five thousand dirhams, three thousand for the champion, one thousand five hundred for the runner up, and five hundred for the third placer. Well, you just told me because I didn't know. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just learned something new today. Um, yeah, interesting. So yeah, my name is Flickdrop, in case and you guys don't know us, and we got Z with me. Yeah, I'm Z. Indeed. The other guy, Spitkaki, is taking his break. So how do you think will the matchup do in mm. the early stages of the match? I think maybe, what's it called? I think maybe Korean T1 has an advantage early game. Uh, Caitlyn, Caitlyn level 1 hurts, you know? Yeah, especially so, this is her passive. You yeah. can just aim it at Lucian. <laughs> How about the mid lane? How mm. do you think Fizz will do against Cassadin? I don't recall ever seeing that matchup, so I don't know. That's, that's a blind um, sort of call there. What do you think? For me, I think these two will be passive, especially Cassadin will be passive. But Fizz could go aggressive because he can just initiate in and then just jump out of Cassadin. Of Kassadin, if, yeah. if Kassadin is not at level 6, but of course once Kassadin reaches level 6, that's a different story because he has that drift walk and exactly. he could just chase Fizz. Well, we are gonna go into game, and I was starting to wonder why the screen went black, I, you know, <laughs> I stopped looking at the timer. <laughs> Korea T1 it's Korea T1 and for the and for all of you guys who are watching uh, don't think that it's fake faker and the gang it's not <laughs> but we'll see if we'll see if we're going to see the Korean meta here we'll see Ooh. let me just sort out the overlay real quick there we go that's pretty nice well so, uh, yeah let's do this once again, on the blue side, it's Captain Sparrow on drugs as a top laner. Etihad Airways, Shaivana on the jungle. Leo, Overlord Daza as Leona as your support. Skull41 as Kazadin on the mid lane and Renji Sami as Lucian on... I think we should just call him... We should just call him Wushin. Make it ah, all easier. Ah. <laughs> Renji Sani, Lucian on the bottom. Fairly passive early game from both teams. No awkward aggression. <clears throat> Let's see how this goes. See, I'm expected, you know, a super aggressive early. <laughs> you know. Coming out from Leon and Lucian, yeah. I want to see some action, especially. Indeed. Just Thresh. Thresh actually picked up. Oh, wrong button. Minions has spawned. Thresh did start with his, um, his Q, so maybe. Shame. No, no, 
Not much action. Very massive star gunning, guarding their blue buff, giving it to their jungler, of course. And Wukong starting out with a flask, which is not something you see very often. What are your thoughts on that? I guess for sustainability, he doesn't. But even so, he. So it's Shaivan and Wukong on top. Jax is gonna be the jungle. Yep. It's gonna be a fairly passive early game, it seems. Neither of these teams looking to to spit up and go crazy. That level one. Bottom lane is pinging. But um. Now Dress is trying to harass Lucian here. Yeah. Going to take they want to take advantage. He's jumping onto that Cassidy already. Yeah, no, that's what I'm telling you during the draft phase. Yeah. Like, Cassidy can just initiate it, then just jump out. That's a, on another note, Cassidy as well picked up a crystalline flat. So he's gonna have a bit more sustain in that mid lane. But then again, you know Fizz is gonna hurt a lot more. And hook Leona and Leon. There goes the counter initiation from Leona. Everybody calm down. Indeed. It's still, <laughs> it's still early oh, in the game. Ignite goes onto Cassidy. And one, one more hit and he doesn't continue. Is that Ignite gonna tick? I wonder. No, no he's, he's, he's gonna live. He's arrived. <laughs> But it was, it was a pretty good play from coming out from his, from his. Indeed. We do see that Cassidy is already falling behind. This is already twice the CS ahead. 18 to 6. So yeah, this is gonna go back. Gonna pick up a, an order Doran blade. Sorry, Doran shield, Doran ring. A warrior. It's a couple Doran swing for coming from his. Kassadin going defensive, picks up that Ruby Crystal. Yeah, what really hurts about Kassadin's skill is his season trident, the, se the second skill. It's like an um, ignite as well. It doesn't... it will affect your healing. Yeah. Oh, that was close. Ooh, that sentence barely missing that Lucian. <laughs> And this top lane is really Oh, oh Wokong get, getting as aggressive here. Yeah. No, no, no serious aggression on the top lane so far. It's, I think, the most passive lane so, yeah, we've seen since we started. I don't know, Wokong cannot be that aggressive because of the burnout coming from Shaivana. It's just melting him away. Indeed. See that burnout. But somehow we see that Shivana is, you know, coming out on top in the trade because of that Dawn field. Oh, that sent That sent us connect to Lucian. The counter initiation goes. Yeah. But... No, Dress is in trouble. It's, it's less than... 30, it's 30% health away. Dress yeah. doing, you know, had big balls here jumping into... Uh, okay, Kha'Zix gun, King Shivana. He goes to jump and the slow. Really? But he, he, I think he's gonna be able to. Oh, he decides to back off. Oh, oh. But, also looking, but he's gonna die as well. Just. Yeah. The counter counter attack stunned by Jax. Very well played there. Jax was just at the right place at the right time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have any vision of Kazakh going on top lane. He's just jungling on, on that side of the map. Yeah, exactly. Oh, very nice play by Jax there. Trying to turn things around. However, on our mid lane, it's 38 against 19 CS. Yeah, Kha'Zix is falling behind. And he's one level below. This is already level 6, actually. Actually, if he's pop his ultimate on Kha'Zix right now, Kha'Zix doesn't, still doesn't have his rift buff, so there's no way for him to escape this. I mean, we can see that he's... Oh no, I thought he was going to sneak up behind him. But we'll see how that goes. Now, oh, Shivana is going aggressive. 
And she might have managed to catch up on CS. She evened out the gap. She's 33 to 33. And Caitlyn and um, Thresh, not a good. Oops, there we go. Small trade. Both of them down to the same. Same order, basically. But Cassidy still has the upper, the upper hand. He's got, ooh, there goes the. Cassidy stops the sword, but. This cannot immediately caught Cassidy because of his Rift Rock. He has his Rift Rock, he has his Flash, so he can escape. Still, very, very even game. Seven minutes into the game. Bolt has one kills and uh, 500 gold lead. It's 500 gold, so it's still very even. That sentence connects to Lucian. <laughs> that Thresh wow. is very sneaky when it comes to his death sentences. But he's still not level 6 though, so he can't really use the box to sort of capitalize on, on that aggression. Oh, Jack's coming at from the back. Indeed. And Caitlyn is gonna get jumped on the left hand attack. But he's nice. got saved by Thresh. Very nice dodge tactic. That's what the uh, good thing I about Thresh. <laughs> and Lucian doing a good job despite the aggression. He's doing a good job of keeping you know, the TF pretty even. And there goes a, there's the ace in the hold and they are less. Both of them are 50 per, less than 50 percent HP. So. Yeah, this is very bad. It's a very good idea to recall. And the aggression comes from please comes from continues. Katix missing his slow gun. Ah. There he goes. If he's in trouble, <laughs> he forces the flash one lead. Oh god, he's gonna survive. No, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> Jax got the red buff, so. It that could be another way around if Jax hasn't had the red buff. Yeah, that, that, that forward jump onto Cassidy and sort of backfired on him. Jax going 2 0, and we all know that a Jax that's fed is. Uh, not a pretty thing to see. We go for Madreds. A Mandred. Do you think he's gonna go for a... Uh, Riddle Slanton or... Feral Flare? Probably. Yeah. But he's playing... I mean... If he was to build a Feral Flare, it, it's fairly... Fairly aggressive, I mean... Generally, you see champions that pick up a Feral Flare stay in the jungle for a prolonged amount of time. So we can jungle it and then stack all the equipings. It's 20, I believe it's 20 stacks that you have to get, right? Another 5. Is it 25? My bad. Oh, that stent is barely missing Lucian again. And... Yeah. Lucian is one level behind. Yeah, uh, and despite the team process is one kill ahead of Korea, look at their... Look at the goal difference. It's in favor of... It's still in favor of the Korean team. Yeah. Wukong is 30, 30 CS ahead of Shivana. Hmm. There it is. That we know too. That I know too, yeah. They're paying for the dragon. They clear, they clear the wards. I think we're going to see a uh, some dragon. Yeah, but Cassidy is down to half health, so. It can be risky if he decides to you know, randomly jump in. But we do see, of course, that blue team takes complete you know, um, vision control of that bottom. Bottom side of the river. The, you don't, the purple team, the red team doesn't have any wards on this river. On the bottom side, so... They might be ganked again by Jax. And, of course, Caitlyn has no sort of... Vision on this. Jack is waiting. Oh, yep. Thresh got caught. Oh, Thresh. Can they go down fairly fast? Beautiful throw the flare onto Caitlyn. The 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 
Very nice job by Leona keeping Caitlyn at bay with that solo flare. Now they will go for a dragon. This will be uncontested. Look, look how much damage Jack is already doing. He's basically soloing a dragon at level 8. 12 minutes into the game. But there's still a uh, heaven goal, the only one thing. The first That's dragon out. of the game. That's the first dragon of the game. It goes to Team Frost, but even though they got the first dragon and they are two kills ahead, still the Korean team is. Yeah, they're farming better. Up. And we can see that we can see that you know that gold difference starting to build between between them. When you look at Kaylin, who's already picked up boots, versus Illusion that doesn't have boots yet. And Fizz is still aggressive on this Kassadin. <laughs> He just can't do anything about Fizz. I mean, he's winning the lane, I mean. Actually, all of the all of their lanes are winning. Yeah. It's just that Jack is doing his the right thing. Oh, that's the beautiful That's I don't think well Thresh has missed like two out of all his hooks so far in the game, so. Force to use Rift Walk to get away from that Fizz. We do see that, like, Thresh is being able to zone Lucian hard enough for him to stop falling oh, behind. They got Kassadin on the mid lane. But Skull has no damage. Keep up, I mean. Nope. Leona and the the bot lane. Leona initiated on. Yeah. On Kaden, but it turned out. But this. And Thresh doing a very good job in completely tanking the damage from that Colin. It's 2-0. 2-0 for Caitlyn. I think I think Leona should have jumped Leona should have forced Caitlyn to use her uh, 90 caliber net before she used solo flare. Actually Leona initiated on Caitlyn and he it connected but Thresh was just there. Yeah but that, that's what I'm that's saying. It's like she used solar flare to jump in. But yeah. Caitlyn mm -hmm. hadn't used her uh, net yet. her net yet, exactly. That's what saved her at the end of the day. So it should have been, I reckon, perhaps if she'd done it the other way, she might have. Things so might have turned. We'll see. The lead is back on Korean team one again. Okay. There's the first turret of the game coming to Korea T1. Well, I mean. The fact that they named themselves Korean T1 puts pressure on Nerf My Balls because, <laughs> you know, we want him to play like Faker. We want to yeah. see the Faker play. But as for now, Fizz is winning his lane. Everybody's winning their lane. Actually, the only thing that's keeping up the Team Frost together is Jax, who's all over the map. Yeah. He's getting the ganks. And Things coming down, they started Fizz. He jumped too early and it might cost him. But, yeah. Wolf on. Hmm? How's Jack doing on that Pharaoh Flare? He's stacked up. Let me stack again. 23 oh, stacks. Jack's got Ooh, Jack's in trouble. Jack's is. Yeah, he's gonna jump onto Cassidy over the wall. I saved from Cassidy. He doesn't have any wards there to yeah. jump on. Um, what's his name? Jax is sitting on 23 stacks. Right? Yes. So we, we're gonna see that Pharaoh Flare come out fairly soon. But. There goes the initiation again. Mm -hmm. If, if Lucian didn't skill that one, he would have been caught. Okay. But Finn's not really sort of not following up on the fight. He's sort of just jumping in, but he's not really doing much. But we do see a four-man move all to the mid lane here, so... Oh, all of the gang are gang, gang up on top, on the mid lane. Yeah. Shivana's here as well, so... So this is the first big team flash. So this is the first big team flash of the fight. Korean T1 is oh, yeah. forcing their way into <laughs> the uh, mid lane. Yep. And all five members are starting to group up in the mid lane, so we might see the first 5v5 of the game. Oh, the... Oh, this bad. Lucian is pushing the bot lane, so Caitlyn has to go there to defend. Wukong is on his way back to the top lane, and Leon is clearing the wards. 
but still, I mean, in terms of mission control, I think blue team's got the hang of it. They yeah. got more words. They got a lot more words down in the in the river. Yeah. Oh, now they're pinging on. Kazakh is trying to go to the bot lane, but they have been spotted by a ward. Yeah. Twenty-five stacks. He's making his way onto this one. Slowly but surely making his way to the bottom lane. But he is gonna oop, he's gonna run into Jax. And we'll They don't have any V shots. It's not. That was <laughs> I think that was an accidental jump right there. Cause <laughs> he jumped over the wall of the he jumped back again. Exactly, and that almost cost him his life. He had to yeah. back out. <laughs> And the guys from Korean team on side are screaming. Exactly, and it seems like Katanin and Jack might be able to take down the first tower here. They're yep. to hold the tower, yeah. so we, we can hear we can hear the guys screaming. I don't know if you guys can, but we can hear them screaming from Yeah, I think they're rooting for the Korean team. They want to see some faker like moves. Well, oop. And here goes the chase. Jax making his way onto that dragon. Well so we're going to see some dragon dance here. But but that dragon is going down so fast, I don't think it's going to be a dance. This is too far. Wukong is keeping it. Oh, they got Leona. Oh, oh. Fall up player only got this. There goes the Wukong ultimate. Vivian goes down. Fizz is trying to do <laughs> Double kill for Fizz. Two triple kill for Fizz. Wow. Ace in the hole is going to... Triple, triple kill for Fizz. <laughs> Ace in the hole saves his life. And that is going to be a 4 for 1 dragon play here. Very, very nice play by Thrive. Using uh, that box to keep four people away. Good thing there are uh, blue team gets the dragon. Otherwise that clash would have been very awful for them. I think... And Twisted twisted Fate last minute... Uh, I mean, Twisted Fate, the, the, the player, I mean. On Caitlyn. That last minute, ace in the hole to save his. <laughs> was very nice. <laughs> And they get the four man and they will get the tower as well. So it's a 3k gold leader uh, coming from Korean T1. And they're starting to gain, they're starting to gain map advantage. They're starting to push all three lanes forward. So, in terms of ward vision, blue team is way ahead. Yeah, I like how they ward. Oh, that was a very close one though. Talisman of Ascension popped by a failed play. He's gonna keep Catherine alive. But they're making their way into this mid lane. Sneaky sneaky. So Fizz might be Fizz might get caught out fairly soon. Cassidy is a little bit tanky now. He has his rod of Asia's now. I don't know what he's farming. Next for his next item. 30, 30 skills behind. And he's holding on to put on the gold. The Jax is only sitting on quite a bit of gold, so he he might be able to pick up that uh, Blade of the Ring King fairly soon. He does, of course, have that build water cut last. There goes the initiation again. That sentence goes in. Solar clear coming from Leona. It's in the hole. Kill Lucian. Now Leona is in danger again. And uh, oh, that beautiful play is gonna throw a back into the game. Well played. Indeed. Caitlyn going 5 0 Jackson gonna jump onto the stop lane. And Wukong oh, is in trouble. Oh, he's trying to juke. Oh, he's trying to juke. Oh, he jukes it. No, but Shibana is gonna see it. No, no, no. Jack jumping OP. <laughs> he's stop. He stopped on that top lane trying to be pretending like a clone. Yeah, so, yeah. Jax wasn't fooled by that one. And we hear more screaming. Somebody died. <laughs> ah, they're, they're cheering on the Korean team one side. So it's 9 5, 4 kills ahead, and 2 gold lead ahead. The and they're, so, they're, they're so lively, I can't wait for, like, to see what happens next. Uh, this is how the Koreans play, they. Yeah, man, they're, they're screaming like it's like the world championship. <laughs> oh, God. This reminds me of Comic Con when I cast it there. And every time somebody died. 4,000 people will be screaming their brains out. It was like the greatest feeling in the world. Yeah. 
Leona, Leona's still doing a fairly good job in, in terms of warding, she is. She's warding she's... very defensively. And she's a little, and she's very tanky now. He got, she got the belt, so you can't easily kill her off. Jax also has his Feral, Feral, Flare, and Blade of the Ruin King. Mm -hmm. So he's pretty scary now at this point of the game. While Kha'Zix only got his Belt Brutalizer and the Spirit of the Elder Wizard. Mm -hmm. It's quite under farm, considering that. Yeah. Anyway, Jax is a scary one compared to, Ka to Kha'Zix. And Caitlyn. Kha'Zix is sitting there doing nothing. He does decide to back out. Oh, because it, they know they are. They know Kha'Zix is there. They got the wards. Kha'Zix is making their way into the mid lane. Okay, oh, Caitlyn's in danger. That's gonna be a stun. Oh dear. Oh, what a save from Thresh. And it seems like Petcock is gonna take over the camera because you know, <laughs> I'm ter I'm honestly, I am the worst cameraman in the world. So I apologize. <laughs> For my three spectators. <laughs> there goes the initiation again from Thresh. Leona has been caught. The stun from Leona goes in, but Leona's gonna die. The stun miss from Leona. They're still chasing Lucian, and Kazix joins the fight. Chasing the whole finish is this fight. But Kazix there and. Oh, and Kaylin just got destroyed. <laughs> now Wolfen goes for the teleport, but Ooh. it's three heroes. Wolfgang's in danger. So Oh, he is gonna bait. He's gonna bait them out, and Fizz is gonna be able to eat. Oh, Fizz, Fizz is the nearest the, the, the shark. I know Kazix is there again. Fizz is in danger. He flashes out. Mm. Shaitan is on the chase. There goes the, the slow from Kazix. I'm looking. Oh, it was an an an, an, an unofficial ace coming. Yeah, coming from the. Korea 3-1 Indeed Well Wukong did a good job in baiting Oh, but Leona is Oh, oh that Zenith Blade And Max Reigns missing that miss That's what you call missing by a pixel, man <laughs> And Fizz is it's 5k going. gold lead In favor of the Korean T1 Now the, the Dragon is up We can expect another clash here Leona Oh, Leona, Leona has been cut again she, saw, she, she popped up the solar player is in the hole. It's not gonna be enough to kill her. But, I don't know. But Wooten is still there. Mm -hmm. Now Leona's down and one of their tanks is down. The dragon will go down easily. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Korea, the Korean team is you know, starting to dominate this game. They've, they've taken map control. And Cassidy is going Oh, Cassidy was... That the first is the flash out of Kazadi. Yep. What is she? What is he doing there? He already spotted Kazix, but he did not respond immediately. Players under pressure make mistake. Ooh. Oh, that beautiful oh. play. Coming out from press. <laughs> now the first is the, the ultimate. Wow. That's the second time TV Rook making his opener. No, it doesn't matter if that misses because he backs out the Shaivana. Well, yeah, Shaivana yeah. can go to the to the mid. So even that, if it misses, that was a pretty good play coming out from his. The Thresh Thresh making some LCS worthy plays right there. You know, get sentenced into dark passage for the rest of the team. And we're going there. And there goes the hold of ultimate. Is oh. in the hole? Let's get in the oh, no, no need. Cassidy. And the Korean T1 is just dominating this match right now. You were saying something about the, I mean, um, you were saying something about blue team being able to keep up in gold. They're behind the 9,000 gold <laughs> <laughs> at the moment. Uh, anyway, earlier, even though they are leading in kills, they are still behind by 100 of gold. Yeah, exactly. Now they are down in kills and down in gold. Guys, we do see. A Randuin's Omen being completed by Wukong on the top lane. And, 
And look at the widening right now for the Team Frost. Earlier, they have an offensive widening until on the enemy jungle, but now the, uh, yeah, the whites are on the jungle only. It's like the red buff. The red buff just completely warded out. Cast it in, Rift walk it in, to try and get this thing. This could be a problem. Crush is there to save. Shivana is also there to join the fray. But <laughs> oh. This could be bad for. Oh, he misses the death sentence. <laughs> Play as well. Wait, did you see a fight, a, a, fight being, a fight coming together in the top lane? Jax is trying, trying to do something. Jax is Lucian is on the bot lane while five of the Korean team is here in the top lane. They will take this turret. I wonder who's gonna win this race. Jax? Yeah. Kha'Zix is there to defend the, the Republic. That's the third ultimate phase Fizz uh, The day I see a Fizz land an ultimate in this room. There goes the initi initiation from Wukong. Shavana goes down. Most problems go to the All that player, it doesn't do anything. And that's very nice. Oh. That's a bit will go down as well. Heal was, he was used by uh, Lucian to try and save him, but that wasn't enough. There's a third tower for a third tower as well. Yeah. Kaiten is there to defend. Oh, Ace in the hole! One more hit, then Ace in the hole, I guess. Oh, she dies! <laughs> Jax is dead. What are you it's in an, it's an inhibitor for uh, the three men. This game is... Team Frost, I think this game is out of their hands by now. I don't, I don't, I don't know how they're gonna come back from this. 11k goals with the visit. I mean, you do see the Koreans picked up. A, I mean, Wukong, Randuin's Omen, Black Cleaver. That shut. That basically shuts down Jax, Jax which is yeah. the only, Slow. the only, the only sort of carry that Team Frost has to keep, you know, to keep them in the game. Caitlyn, we do see. She has a Bloodthirster. She's got a, a Last Whisper. She has a um, Static Shift. And in the mid lane, Fizz with a Zonius, a needlessly large Rod. Lich Bane. Lich Bane. <laughs> and I just don't see how in a straight up 5v5 and now you can't even kill Caitlyn you got the Spectre Skull magic yeah that, that Cassidy's damage gets completely neglected it in a straight I think in a straight up 5v5 there's no way for Team Frost to win it uh, they got the initiation they got the burst damage coming from Kha'Zix and Caitlyn is just wow she's a monster 9-1 from Kha'Zix <laughs> And <laughs> look at this, he's just laughing at them <laughs> On the... the oh, look! Like <laughs> <fight. laughs> she might have got Oh, Caitlyn got caught as well oh, But Caitlyn is 90 caliber net, he's gonna save her Jax... Jax did all the damage and... He did But... Yeah. It's a 2 for 1 trade but they got Caitlyn. And Jax being chased here by everybody. Oh, they are, they're gonna see a Baron after it. They're still going for the Baron, but Jax is making around. Jax is still there, so this might be a steal. Yeah, if he plays Let's see if he can steal it, but Trash is zoning him out. Yeah, and uh, there goes the they connect that. Yeah, there goes the counter strike. He's gonna try. <laughs> no, he's not gonna. Desperately tried to get in, but... Yeah, that was a very desperate move coming out from Dax. Well, that was their only, their only hope to sort of winning this game was, you know, you know, taking that Baron. And after about two minutes of fighting, that Baron goes on. Kaylin does pick up that, um... Banshee Shield. Indeed. Banshee Shield. Banshee Shield. Yeah. What he said. Banshee Spell. <laughs> Banshee Spell. Oh, he got it wrong. Oh, dear. Fire him! That's two two Randuins being picked up by uh, Team Frost to try and put an end to that. No, even Trash, they can kill that. They cannot kill Trash easily at this point of the game. Double Randuins on both ends of the fight, but surprised? Not surprised I don't see Thresh picking up uh, movement speed boots. 
He's got um Ayanyan boots. Boots of lucidity. Which you know not not something you typically see on a, on a support. They tend to go more for that you know, aggressive movement speed, especially for us. Uh, now for the dragon again. And Kaling just solos that dragon. I can see how the the blue team will kill any of this champion. Any of this champion and now. They need to wait for um they need to wait for somebody from the Korean team to make a mistake. But I don't I don't see him doing that. So Tres is tanky, he got the slow, whooping is tanky and he got the invisibility using the clone. Cause it has a sleep. And Kha'Zix, right? Caitlyn has, has a Calibre net plus she got a bunch of bail and this can just jump out. Indeed. There are a lot of disengaged but I think they will engage right now. They got their items, they are, they are ahead in items so... All three lanes are pushing their favor as well. I mean, they are, they're completely dominating the map basically. They've got, they've got Team Frost cornered in their base in this game. And we see Lucian trying to pop that. Uh, oh, they're going for the inhibitor. The death sentence onto a minion, followed by a static shift. That is going to be the same round. Oh, 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 Lucian pops his ultimate. Jax has been caught. Beautiful box into Lucian's ultimate. Here. All of them have been caught in the trash ultimate. That was a very nice combo there. And Thresh, and they will oh, add he misses it. <laughs> he misses that last death sentence. Oh dear. Thresh will go down as well. Uh, it's just destroying people. This is gonna be it. Three or two one will advance to the next mark. Facing Ben, two undefined, right? Well played, Jump. And uh, the Korean team, which are the underdogs of this tournament, take their first game in a very convincing manner. Okay guys, it's Korean team against Venko Undivide for our next game, so we'll be back after a couple of minutes. This next game is going to be interesting.
Chevy tipping ride on my dirty shit. I used to a Chevy tipping ride on my dirty shit. I used to a Chevy tipping ride on my dirty shit. I used to a Chevy tipping ride on my dirty shit. بحضر البني ادم لانه يزور محل اول مره قد ما بده يقرا وقد ما بده يحضر على التلفزيون و...